than all that we <laughs> Take a moment, release the neck, deepen the breath, and then we'll try that again here. Good, good, uh huh. Take another moment, release the breath, shake out the shoulders. Make sure that the abdominal wall feels free. Make sure the obliques, the sides, don't feel locked. What does that feel like? When you were a kid and you like, when your mom told you not to, but you blew up a Ziploc bag and then like you like bit off the tip and you like slowly squeeze it out, kind of. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a good sound and it was a good transition. So I wanted you to come up with an a way to remember that. Well, yeah, well, I remember that specifically because it seemed like, or it, what better is when you get like deli cheese and they have a, that, that kind of zipper and like you're, no matter how hard you press on it, it's all, if it's a very small hole, no matter how hard you press on it, it will be letting out as much as that little hole. Ah. And you, so like you could press a little bit and it'll go, you could be pressing a lot and it'll go, louder but it's still the same i love that so you're using the muscles that that's actually your your concept of support right now because we're talking about the air being released being steady and not being a <sighs> yeah i love it see yeah, i learned from you deli cheese bag <laughs> deli cheese here comes old deli cheese patrick Make sure you don't go with the oh. I really want you to do a nice ooh bow because you'll feel lots of headiness in the ooh. ooh. I didn't switch out, <laughs> but yeah. That was beautiful, Patrick. Thank you. Yeah, that's the feeling that you need in the handle. Ooh. Good, good. Take a moment. Find your balance again. This time, go with a little bit of a who. Uh. Go with the uh at the top. We'll think about that analogy with the, the plastic bag. So there will be more air and which will build up more subglottal pressure, which will make it harder for the vocal folds to come together cleanly, unless you activate your torso. So this time, I want you to take your hands, put them at the bottom of your rib cage. And as you ascend, I want you to lean out and down into your hands. Just a gentle, tiny, subtle, infantismal lean out so that we can regulate the airflow. What do you think? I didn't feel like all oh, hell was going to break loose. So, Because you were in control of the tone. I didn't know I could control my tone. Yeah, you can. You were supporting the tone. And so your larynx was like, oh, thank you. I can just focus on singing now instead of trying to hold back all of the air in your lungs. Hmm. Let's do that again. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, what about one more? It's starting to become less like and more like, oh, this is comfortable and this is how it this is how it should be. Absolutely. So that's a good instinct that you have for knowing when it's comfortable. Ooh. 
like I could go one more. <laughs> well, that was a gorgeous balanced A. That was an A. I felt like I could go. It felt like in that moment, it was like, oh, I could go up to like, I, could, I can go up to like a, like a, like a D. <laughs> well, and that's, that's, so, you know, we see these amazing singers as like, how do they do that? How do they just stand up there and produce that sound for hours and hours and hours? That's how. Good. Last one. <laughs> of course, my brain says, very high. You are a bass. Stop. <laughs> but and my body is like, we got this. I want you to acknowledge that. Because that, that, what you just shared is really, really interesting. Our brains are good at identifying threats. They're not always great about forgetting about them. No. <laughs> All right, so Patrick, that was a really nice A. Let's just let's just see what happens. We're just experimenting. 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 <laughs> so that's a B flat. B flat better than tennis. Okay. So one of the things that can happen in the lip drill is we can still hold our jaw and our tongue tightly. But with the raspberry, you have to have a certain element of release there. So it just accomplishes uh, a little bit of tension prevention. I'm rhyming all, I've been rhyming all day today. <laughs> all right, so let's go from the and see if you can keep that jaw and the tongue in the neutral uh, Tension prevention phase. Yeah, that's a raucous sound. I love it. down try to keep that loft in the sound don't let it just fall ah. okay. that was such a rich timbre at the top i want you to see even if it takes going a little more slowly, I want you to see how much you can preserve on the way down. We want to really keep that. That's your real estate. But up, but get it, get it. So there was still a marked loss of quality. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went slowly, but you didn't you didn't keep it shimmering on the way down. Wow. Yeah, I want you to keep all of that shimmer so that that becomes a part of your identity in every part of your range. Absolutely. That was a little less successful, but it was still better.
let's experiment with just a little bit more a release of the jaw at the top. A little bit more down and out, just to see what happens with the tone. If the jaw looks a little stuck, and we don't need to over open, but let's just be responsive. What did you experience just then? It was definitely different. Um, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it, but it was very different from what I normally do and I can hear the difference in how I sound. To my ears, and of course we're dealing with Zoom Conservatory, mm -hmm. but to my ears it sounded richer and the other one was just a little thinner. So this one just had a little more body to it. Interesting. Yeah, that's not, that doesn't, so that doesn't sound like what you heard or what you felt? It, to me, it sounded a little thin. It, okay. And like not what I'm used to when I sing Saper Voreste, you know? So it, it might be that with your jaw less open, you get more feedback mm -hmm. into your sensory reception. So it might sound bigger there. But when you release the jaw, you get less feedback. So it sounds bigger out here. Hmm. One of the things that we um, worked on last time was making sure to have your full voice. It sounded just a little thin in the first time. That's why I had you go and work down the octave so you could have that release larynx. Yeah. But here it seems like there's just the solution is also the jaw not being tight. Uh, uh, let's, let's keep exploring this. Give me just a little more jaw opening, a little more shoulder release, because the jaw and the shoulders and the pelvis, you know the jaw and the pelvis are formed at the same time in utero. Huh. There's a really big connection there. So when we feel tight or scared and we lock down here, it's impossible for the jaw to have lots of mobility. <laughs> relaxed it so that kind of just I felt a little freer good um, and then I used my my tummy muscles um, yes Abdom yeah. abdominal wall yeah there it is okay um, to, to, to push the sound a little bit okay yeah I felt like I wasn't using all of what I had and and the great thing our abdominal wall muscles we forget because they're so important and it's so obvious but they also work in concert with the muscles in our upper thigh. Hmm. And so that's also part of our support. So you can think about that abdominal wall, but think about it extending through those upper thigh muscles mm -hmm. and see if you can engage them together to prevent any kind of collapsing. But we're just using them to gently support the tone so that we can keep the shoulders and neck free. Yeah, what did that feel like? A lot more release and then I put a lot more support and I yeah. bet. Yeah, that helps. Actually, before you do it, can we just do what we did last time? Just down the octave. Just straight down, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, I don't, you don't need to, to, to give me all of that volume. I just want you to get the feeling of the low larynx. Right? Okay. Do it again and, and think about your lower body and feel as you sing, feel yourself grounding mm -hmm. and balancing and supporting from the floor. Saber
Alright, now let's do it. We keep that sensation of the groundedness. What were you experiencing as you sang this? What thoughts were going through your head? Um, kind of word triggers. You know, like um, what the tra-la-la is. Ha ha ha, I'm making fun of you, laughing at you. That was um, very convincing. It really you. came across, and that's hard to do. Um, with things like uh, 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 discreto, uh, segreto, you know, secret, I'm, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about that because the intention is there. We have to talk about the technique a little bit because there's only one T, and if you say discreto, it sounds like there are two Ts. So it's got to be or discreto and segreto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I loved the intention. Okay. I thought it was so musical and clever what you did with me. Balzaincor. That was just, it was very clear. Thank you. I wouldn't even need to speak Italian to understand that. This seems... It, it seems a little uncertain and a little unsteady. Can we just do that in slow motion? All right, can we do that now in fast motion? Now can you go from It's a little so it's a little too short. So staccare is the verb to take apart. It means separated, but it doesn't necessarily mean short, especially when it comes to Verdi. Can we go from again? Manolina. So that time sounded fine. I think the notes can be a little bit longer. Um, -la 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 -la. Enough time for them to vibrate and for you to bounce. Try this. This is a this is a soprano trick. La la la, lo la. Okay. See what see what that does for you. Uh, let's go from la la la. Do the soul, lululula, because it, 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 seem, it seems like it doesn't really have the, the headiest part of the head voice attached. Lululula. That's there it is. the one. <laughs> That's the one. So those closed vowels, the oohs and the e's, always help us to loop in the head voice. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you're not going to sing lu 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 la there, but yeah. if you can approximate that sensation and remember that process, you could have more success with the beat. Mm. Can you make sure you get a U e for that? It's going to sound completely different. It's going to feel more heady, but that's the timbre that we want here. Good. Try again. So I hear you pulling down. I want you to let it trip over into the head voice. Good. Good. Try it. Try it even with the rounded lips. Yeah. 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 That really changes the color of the line. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's, they want. It's round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have I have two years. <laughs> um, 
Sing a O up here. Uh, try more. Try more of an A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A. Okay. okay. Hold on. What was this? <laughs> and what was this? <laughs> ah. So, so I want you to try this, and you have to you have to take a risk here. All right. So, take the breath in, then release the air, and then sing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but let all your air go before you sing. So take a breath, let all your air, and then sing. Okay. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you, you tell me. Okay, I know, I know. So Why? the 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 air is flowing and at the end of the air there are re there will be some rest airs and residual air yeah that, that that does help it also helps not to overblow so one of the things that it's easy to do is tank up <sighs> when we sing when we really just need that oh oh Oh, yeah. that's all we need. Yeah, uh, we, we're going to bring our awareness to the soft palate and to the pharyngeal muscles around it because they work in tandem. When we do the P, the, that pressure goes back and it just kind of forces the, um, the soft palate up and then we can kind of keep it there. So you just give me a pa, 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 pa. Uh, but a, a big P, so you can feel the energy in the back. So now think a big soft P. Because okay. you're giving me a good, like, project. I just want you to feel that. Will you just speak that? I'm hearing. Instead of. Think light and airy. Uh-huh. Yep. So pa 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 pa. Pa 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 Good. I'm gonna ask you to take the Laura sound. We're gonna put that in a box. We'll need that later. Right now I want you to go with a very light and airy care bear sound. Do you do you know the care bears? Yes. Okay, just imagine what they would sound like. Or the teletubbies, whatever makes sense. So which which resonates more for you, the Care Bears or the Teletubbies? I like Teletubbies. Okay, all right. So give me that Teletubby sound. Good. And the Teletubbies always looked so happy. Yeah. Can you can you channel that joy and that feeling? Yes, good, good. Uh, more giggling. <laughs> All right. Will you will you have a little bit of giggle in the sound? <laughs> and the thing about a giggle, even though it's slight, it still comes from a deep place. So can you feel like a deep? <laughs> Give me a good giggle. <laughs> good. Now, now a giggle. But in the, yeah. Where, well, imagine you um, are not supposed to be giggling, right? You're in the middle of opera rehearsal, but something is so funny. So you let out a, a giggle. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Pop, pop, pop with that same giggle feeling. 
Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Give me another giggle. <laughs> they got a little evil laughter, right yeah. <laughs> which we need that. We'll need the evil laugh in other places. Let's give the, this is the innocent Teletubby giggle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear how the last note of the five fell out of that place? Good. See if you can allow it to still uh, giggle all the way down. Yeah, so that activates um, like a, a natural coordination that you have. And I think more than anything, we have to tap into what we do naturally well and what we can like keep our brain out of because we need our brain for lots of other things. So let's keep that feeling and just get used to that sensation because you can use that in Dorabella. There's so many points where she's just like sitting up at the top and it might feel impossible as you're going along in these long rehearsals but if you just remember that giggle feeling all of a sudden you'll find the energy and the resource you need good i want you to give me a giggle that goes high but is anchored deep right. yeah huh Good. So now we're going to go back to the lip trill. And that same light, airy, Teletubby feeling that was still grounded at your core, at your root chakra. Um, so by root chakra, I mean kind of close to your pelvis. Okay. <laughs> Good. But see if, you can, see if you can keep that feeling. And so you're getting a bit of a stretch, feeling the energy of the air going up, the soft palate floating up but still being grounded to your root chakra and to gravity. Give me the giggle again. <laughs> That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Yeah, that's your superpower, Laura. That's within you. That's yours. Give me the giggle again. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes, now, as you come down, because you have this wonderful mezzo -y sound, like, in the middle. And I'm trying to avoid using the metaphor that I want to use, but it's, it's kind of, okay, I'm not going to fight it. It's, you've got this like rich cake. It's like a cake with like this cherry in it, in the middle. Cause it's got, it's a little tart, but it's also sweet. It's, it's this really wonderful quality. You can still maintain that. And you got to keep the icing on it though. The, and that icing is that giggle Teletubby feeling. You let that go and you really indulge down here. And there will be times for that, but when you have to move in and out of it, it's going to be hard if you let the soft palate drop and you focus everything into that, that cherry cake sound. Yeah. <laughs> so just keep a nice light frosting on the top. This is, <laughs> this is horrible voice teaching, but it's what I hear. <laughs> Light frosting. Yeah. I lost it. <laughs> that went that went all yep. heavy on the bottom. That's, that's a little that's a little heavy and a little back. Can you give me a giggle? Yeah, so even, okay, we're going to be really silly. <laughs> we're going to giggle on scale. Yeah, now with that same feeling. There you go. Good, all right. 
that. So. It, was, it was with doubt and trembling. All right, doubt sounds a little bit off of your support. And you look locked. You get back here and locked here. So as you do it this time, just give a little nod. It was with doubt. See if you can let your shoulders stay and just move your head. Can you just move your head back and forth with your shoulders? No, you're moving your shoulders. <laughs> I just realized that I did that. Can you just do that? All right, see if you can sing it that way. It was without and trembling. Are you feeling resistance there? No. All right, good. Keep going. I whispered in her ear. Good, all right. Now do the same thing again and just give a gentle nod. Yes, and yes. I whispered in her ear. That's the one. So that sounded freer than it did before. There's something going on with your up-down muscles that get tight and prevent the sound. Keep going. Go take her answer, bird on bow, and just keep shaking your head. Yes. Go take her Go take answer, bird on bow. Now, this go take her answer, imagine that is in one line. So you don't allow the voice to come down. Go take her. So I, I hear a loss of support. Go take her. Can you? Go take her answer. I am singing now on Mental Fortress. But... Yeah, even on Mental Fortress, you gotta stay supported. Mm -hmm. Go take her. No. Go take her answer. Do it without the consonants. <laughs> Can you do it without raising the shoulders and getting tight here? Oh, I'll add the consonants back. Make sure this spins. What vowel do you sustain on the word psi? Uh, ah, yeah. So uh, it's psi no more. The E's at the very end. Just looks a little locked. I'm sorry, here. I just try to keep the chest high, but I guess it's like looks so. Like so think about the the chest floating, mm. but it's got to respond to gravity. So we're not holding it high; we're allowing it to move with the breath because underneath the chest you have the ribs, underneath the ribs you have the lungs. It's got to move. Notice when you try to hold the chest high, your shoulders get tense and your neck all that throws out of alignment. So you have to think balance. Okay. Sing it. Sing it, sing it. And if run upon the wayside tree. And it's only a quarter note. Wayside tree. How fast she is. Okay, so let's make sure. Make sure we get those different notes. 
she's found true. Good. To that. Oh, true. That's a big jump. Let us feel that. Okay. How fair she sounds. Nope. So just like we did with the lip trill, same thing here. How true she is. How fair she is. How true So Josh, just give me your fundamental. How. Yeah, don't come off the breath. Just how. That's the one. How true she is, how fair she is, how true she is, how dear she is. All right, make sure, make sure that deer still spins. Uh, and if I were you, I'd put a little fermata there. How dear she is to me. Oh, how dear she Legato, though, right? That was good. Keep going. Do it again. How dear she is to me. Sweet heart. So you can use the S as a way to check in with your support. Mm -hmm. So just give me a S, S, and feel what happens in your support. You feel that? Yeah, uh, contra like contracting. Yeah, so that's the engagement. That's all you need for S. I can, I can float that too, if I do that. Okay. <laughs> Now, now I want you to find your support from the consonants instead of gripping and then wrenching it out. If you're getting a good sh, that means your support is active. Now you just have to keep it engaged throughout the phrase. That's a beautiful color on the U. Beautiful. The song. Um, it's forte, but when you do that closed U, it also, even though it's forte, it has a softer hue, and it's just a really nice color. And it's going to really contrast with the openness and the fortissimo-ness of Psy that's coming up. Okay. So just do it like you did it. Careful not to tank sweetheart. Because that's still a really tender idea. Sweetheart. And you're giving me sweetheart. So be honest to those words and then on the sigh, really sing so. Don't try to sing sigh. Sweetheart so. Sweetheart so. No, no, you're still trying to sing sigh. Sweetheart so. Sweetheart, so. Don't try to sing sigh. Don't worry about the word at all, Josh. So, sweetheart, so. Sweetheart, so. Uh -huh. Now sing it up the octave. Sweetheart, so. Sweetheart, so. No more. Uh -huh. More. Oh, 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 oh. No more. Yeah, 
that's on its way. You're here and here. So see if you can still find your balance. Sweetheart, so And then at the very end, give him the word after you're already done singing. No more. Sweet, no. Sweet, hard, so. That's the one. And if you can... So can you make sure that that is legato? Can that all be legato? It still seems like your tongue is pulling back a little bit. So will you just do Yeah. Yeah, we get a whole lot more of the of the mask that way. So can we go from Right there from the raw. Now see if you can get the same thing on the A flat without the rolled R. What's the word here? I want your love. Yeah, okay. And what what's the word in Mandarin? Is it wo? Yes. Wo on the A flat? Yes. Okay. So yeah, so just do wa. <laughs> yeah. But don't let the tongue ah uh, don't let the tongue pull back. Wa. You have to have Yeah, I, I understand for spoken you might have to but for singing it's got to be Okay, I don't you can't laugh at my Mandarin <laughs> So for that cling clang, you you look so frightened for that cling clang. You look scared, and you don't have to be. This is completely within your wheelhouse. You can sing this so well. So when you have that cling clang, really see if you can pause and just decide to have fun with it, to 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 make it like a sound. It's not supposed to be sung so much. But, but decide that you're not going to be afraid of these notes, all right? So will you just take a couple of breaths and then sing cling clang when you're ready? Okay? Right, try it again. So think about the air. Cling clang, cling clang. The air has to move. Good, good, good. All right. And now try it again and see if you can really feel grounded. So think about your torso, your lower body, your pelvic floor, all the way down right where your legs are. See if you can feel grounded in that cling clung. Yeah, that's the one. Do that again. All right, that one got a little tight. All right, so just take your time. It's all about the relationship you have to your support and support starts at the floor. It starts where your ankles and your feet spread. 
Yeah. Now, now in tempo. Cling clang. Cling clang. Yeah. Good. All right. Now do the next one. But take your time. Take your time. Make sure you're not reaching, but instead you're grounding and you're bouncing. Cling clang. Yeah, good. Do it again. You, you still want to kind of hike the cheeks up a little bit? See if you can let those, yeah, just melt. Cling clang. Good, good, good. Do that again. Blink long. Yeah. Now have fun with it. Blink long. But when you have fun, it goes to here, and then it gets hiked here. And so it's got to be, you can have fun, and it can come from a deeper place. So think of your, you know about your chakras, right? There's the chakra here, 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 here. Really think about your, your root chakra here. Cling, clog, cling, clog. That's the one. Do that again. Because, and let's talk about this. This comes from a very deep place, right? Her heart is beating, or his heart is beating, but her heart is also beating because they are really attracted to each other. So it comes from a very deep place. It's not a superficial thing. All right, will you go the next? On the, on the uh, next page where you have cling clong, cling clong, cling clong, shulking us heads. You see where that is? So to make sure you feel grounded. You're each cling, you're bouncing off of the floor. Your ankles are grounded. As you sing, you're getting more grounded. Now, you were here. I, I want you to do it again. Will you, um, all right. Will you get into a little bit of your monkey? Uh, uh, uh. Cling, clong, cling, clong. Cling, clong, schluck in das Herz. Cling, clong, cling, clong. Cling, clong, schluck in das Herz. Yeah, yeah, do that again. Do it again. So every time you have the cling clong, you've got to come back down yeah, to that feeling because it's all about what happens here. And so this time, as you sing the cling, I want you to take your ankle and I want you to push cling clong and then take your other ankle, cling clong, and then take both ankles, cling clong, cling clong, true in das Herz. But you're making contact with the floor each time. You know where I am? At the very end. That's it. That's it. That's the one. That's it. All right. It sounds natural. It sounds spontaneous. It sounds immediate. Do it again. Let's do it again. No, no, no. That was here. It didn't have the full extension. So we're using our ankles and we're pushing. Click. We're pushing down as we bounce up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 